Hello fellow internet people, welcome back to This is a Duck. Today we're going to be doing something that I haven't done in quite a long time. We're going to be doing a review, not of Tic Tacs, but of a Lego compatible steam generator. <laughs> start off with a bit of an overview uh, then get into how it works and then some of my opinions on it so as you can see um, with the steamer module it's decently sized it's similar to um, a power functions IR receiver roughly um, actually I built this little little rig that it'll fit into and it'll show you the dimensions a bit more visually as you can see feel free to pause at any time and then we have this little section here that gives you the height. Ignore the one stud at the bottom because it's all raised up by one. Then that flat bit can go across there, as you can see. So then that level there is on a level with that. And that's also on the, uh, half, a third of a stud higher. I should probably mention this. The, the clutch power is pretty good. It's not too bad um compared to actual lego pieces but hopefully you can see by the amount of force i'm using to take off uh take this off from the studs it's good enough but it, it's not so much that you'll have difficulty taking bricks apart from it and also you haven't been able to see this yet but it does use a power functions connector so this will obviously work with the ir receiver it'll work directly from a battery box either of the lego sorts it won't um work natively with powered up or control plus uh i don't know what happens if you use an adapter um because i don't have one it may work it may not at, at your own risk now interestingly if you plug this into the ir receiver and then into a battery box try and get it all on screen and then turn the battery box on without fiddling with the IR receiver at all, no signals are being sent to it, it will turn on automatically. And you don't actually get any control over it. Which you may have as an issue, or it may that may be fine for you. It's fine for me. I also have a Booiz brick, and it works in the same way with that. You plug it in, as soon as you're connected to your phone, um, it will start producing steam. Now, in order to refill... Um, it's quite simple. You simply get the pipette that it came with, fill it up with water, which I usually do from the bottle that I have next to my chair most of the time. Put it in here. You've got a little sort of reservoir in here with a little sponge that soaks up the water. And then basically one sort of half of the uh, of pipette is enough to fill it up and then you're good to go again as you can see it does have a light uh, one down here it, it doesn't show up very well on camera but it, this light is very bright um so usually i get a one by four and just put it over which blocks it quite well it does still make this bit <laughs> light up blue i would have I would have liked if it was more of a, an orangey light, obviously for something like a steam train. If you're making one of those, fire is orange. Uh, so that would make sense more than a blue light, but it is what it is. Um, now, the, the quantity of steam that comes out is, as you can see, quite good. Um, obviously, it will depend on how, how much water you put in. If it's running low, it won't be as much. Um... Now, there is a reason why I've got this against a back, uh, black background, and that is the, against a white background, the steam is actually quite hard to see, not, not just on camera, but also uh, to the eye. If I give an example here, you can see the difference. And that's not just for the camera, that's, that's for, to the eye as well. I thought I should mention that. Yes, I am using a laptop as a background. 
live with it. <laughs> it is worth mentioning this is cold. It's not going to burn you. It's not got a heating element in it or anything like that. So it's not it's not a fire hazard in that sense. Obviously, it might be if you short circuit it in the same way as any electrical device. But it's not like your kettle. So I've talked about some of the things I like about it, giving you an overview. I should probably mention um, there is a problem. If you have a whole diameter that's smaller than this, um, basically the steam will it'll go through fine for a little while. Uh, but then over time, a little water droplet will start forming in, in the gap. And eventually that will get bigger and bigger until it just completely blocks um, the, the hole. Now, this is a, an example I'd like to use. This piece, uh, slightly more common, more of you may have seen it. You may be tempted to use this because it allows you to maybe stick a funnel on top. Now, let's steam through, okay? And if I get a little funnel that I've used on some of my trains before and stick that on top. Yeah, it works okay initially. It does look a bit odd stationary, but when you're moving, obviously that's, um, you may think this is okay. Um, but over time, if I take this off again, you'll notice that the hole the steam is coming out of is sort of getting smaller and smaller until actually it stops. And there you go, you can see, if I show you a close up, there's a little water droplet there that's formed and that's blocking all the steam from coming out. Now, this does obviously make it a bit harder to work with. Um, a few less techniques uh, will work. Um, you won't be able to pull off the same look necessarily for, let's say if you're going for trains, all the funnels, you may have to compromise and go with a slightly less uh, prototypical one that will work. However, this may not be a problem if you're Let's say you're building a, a scene, let's say, that needs a fire in it, and you just put this in a house or underground, and you just have quite a large gap for the steam to come through, that'll be fine. Uh, this won't be a problem. Um, but it's worth mentioning. Um, oh, technical difficulties again. It's also worth mentioning, as of when I'm recording this, I don't know of any similar products, any steam generators that are specifically compatible with lego other than this one that you can buy individually um i got this from a website called i think it was the brick people i'll leave a link for it down below as far as i can tell it's an exact copy or maybe even the same thing as the steam module that mold king use in some of their sets their company that makes sort of i hate to use the term but it's fake lego sets essentially it's an alternative building block company and they have they have a couple of train sets and they use a steamer module that to me looks identical to this. Um, so you can get it in one of those sets, but obviously that'll cost you a bit more. This cost me £15 for what it is, for how unique it is, I'd say the price is quite reasonable. It's about as much as a, a motor will set you back these days. So it's quite good, obviously. <laughs> uh water costs may vary but yeah that pretty much wraps up the video um i hope you enjoyed it um if i haven't already mentioned it i'll put links in the description to where you can get this as of recording this right now it is out of stock um however it, it may come back um it may be sold on other websites um there may be some i've missed but for all i know as of now there's only one website that sells it and it's out of stock there um yeah, thank you for watching and cue the outro.